Hi, my name is Zeb Pasquale. I'm a registered nurse. I'm working with 24-hour home care, and we're here in Goodwill, and I'm going to show you how to assist a patient up from a fall. There are two different ways that I generally use to assist patients up from a fall. The first one involves a stationary object for which they can stand up. So the first thing you want to do is assess the patient and make sure that they are alert and oriented and that there's no pain. Sir, are you okay? Do you know where you are? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Where are you? I am in a house room. Okay. You just fell. You're on the floor. Are you, is there any pain in your lower back or hips? No, I think I'm, I'm okay. Okay. It's important to note that if there is pain in the lower backs or hips, you do not want to touch or move the patient. Call 911 and uh, let, them, let them come in. If there is no pain, then you can proceed with assisting the patient up. I'm going to help you get up, sir. So the first thing I'm going to do is bend your knees so that your feet are flat on the ground. I always want to make sure that I'm informing the patient of what I'm going to do so that they're, they're going on this, on this journey with me. Okay, so I'm going to bend your knee here. Bend your knee here. Once the first step is accomplished, I'm going to let I'm going to inform him of the, of the next of the next step before I actually perform the next step. I'm going to need this hand to be across you, and I'm going to help turn you. My hand is on their shoulder. I place this hand over here, and I'm going to prompt him. On three, you're going to turn, and I'm going to help you turn. Okay, one, two, three. Go and turn. Good. So it's worth noting at this point that he is now turned. And I have situated this so that there's, if there is a bed, or in your case, there could be a chair or a stationary object or a small desk or a table, so that when he actually gets up, he has something to put his hands on. A wheelchair is fine, but you must make sure that the wheelchair is locked. Okay, sir. At this point, I'm going to put my hand under the small of his shoulder. I'm going to help him get onto all fours where his hands are on the, on the platform. So on three, I'm going to help you stand up. And do you see this, do you see this platform right here? Yes. When I help you stand up, you're going to get both hands onto the platform, and you're going to be on both knees. One, two, three. Good. Good. And so this is the next goal. Both hands are on the platform and he's on both knees. This is an advantageous position for him to stand up. And at, at all times my hand is on his hips and on his shoulder. So from here, stand up, bring one foot up onto the floor. Good. And then bring up the other foot. Good. I've stood up with him. I'm with him the whole time. And I'm going to make sure that I'm holding on to him a little bit to make sure that he recovers and is not dizzy. Do you feel dizzy, sir? Uh, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Uh, go ahead and turn around and sit on the bed. Okay. And that's the first way on how to assist a patient to stand from falling. The second way I'm going to show you right now. The second way involves a situation where there is no platform for which, for which the patient stands up. This is ideally done with two people, but if you're alone, I would actually not recommend doing this if you don't have confidence in your own physical ability, but here's, here's how you do it. Assess the patient the same as if you assessed them before. Sir, do you know where you are? I think I've just fallen. You've just fallen. Okay, you have just fallen. He's alert and oriented. Is there any pain in your lower back or hips? No. Okay, I'm going to help you stand up, okay? So what I need you to do is put your hands across yourself like this. So both hands are on, both hands are on his shoulders. I'm going to get behind him, and I'm going to bring myself under the neck. And on three, I'm gonna help him, on three, I'm gonna help him stand up. One, two, three. Stand up. I'm sorry, sit up. Okay, from here, now that he's sitting up and his hands are across from him, I'm gonna reach down, elbows are up. I ask him to bring his elbows up. I'm gonna do this thing, and then I'm gonna do this. And at this point, it's very important for you to, to observe good lifting mechanics. You wanna use your legs and your back and keep your chest tall and your back straight. On three, I'm going to stand up with you, okay, sir? Okay. One, two, three. So he stands up, and then I'm going to stay here with him the whole time and make sure that he, the same thing, he's not dizzy as before. Okay, cool. Go ahead and sit down. And those are the two ways on how to assist a patient from falling. For more informational videos from 24 Hour Home Care, please visit www.24hrcares.com.